Let's add REI compatibility to our Minecraft mod. Even more topics available in the 121 Minecraft modding courses, now with energy and fluid handling for block entities next to many other awesome topics. Alright, we found us back in Taylor once more and in this tutorial we're going to be adding REI compatibility to our Minecraft mod, which will allow us to actually see our custom recipes for our growth chamber block entity inside of REI, which is going to be super freaking cool. Now, adding REI to our project is not actually that complicated. Luckily, we have everything available on GitHub over here. I will link this down below, both the REI repository as well as Linky, which is going to be quite useful because for REI, we're going to need a couple of things. Now, what we can do is we can move down over here to Maven and we will find, well, basically everything we're going to need. The first thing here is that we need this Maven to add to the repository. So we're going to copy over this Maven line right here and we'll add it in the build.gradle file under repositories. That's simply where we're going to add this. So down here, there we go. And then we need to add some dependencies. Now, when it comes to the dependencies, uh, it does say, let's see for fabric, that we need those two. Now that, that is correct. However, we will also need uh, a couple more and that is uh, architectury as well as cloth configs uh, because otherwise it's not going to work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this over. So this is gonna be the REI dependency and we're going to add this right here. This is going to be for the version 160777. I don't think that this is the uh, the um, newest version at this point. However, that is the one that will definitely work, let's say. Uh, and we can find out the version by just, just going to maven.shedaniel.me. And then we want to go to, this would be under me, shedaniel. And we would want to go to roughly enough items, API fabric. And then we, if we scroll down or we just take a look right here, that's six. Isn't there 16? Yeah, we're actually up at 18 already over here. Although I'm unsure if this is going to be for 121.1. So we're just going to stick with 160777. That's fine. I think we're going to be okay. And then we do need to go to the she Daniel Dev website over here to also get uh, that is going to be architecture API as well as the mod menu no cloth config, which is uh, somewhere over here as well. Uh, cloth config right here. Uh, we, know we've, we need both of those because otherwise it's not going to work. So we're going to get the architecture API over here. Uh, that's going to be uh, just literally just copy the over, just click on this. This should copy it over automatically. And then we can go back and take this. So you can see this is architecture for fabric 1308. Yes, sir. And then finally, we also want cloth config, which is um literally down here of config this uh, this one right here the um this one right here that's awesome and then we're gonna copy this over as well and we both need those two apis otherwise roughly enough items is not going to probably work because some classes are not available via the uh, rei api but they are available through you know either one of these apis if i recall if i understand this correctly the way that mod api works here as a dependency means that this is simply added to your mod so if you export your mod then architecture and cloth config should be added automatically and not actually needed to be also put into the mod folder. Now, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but that is how I understand this. Regardless, let's go to the load Gradle changes over here. If this does not appear, you can go to the Gradle tab and reload all Gradle projects. And then it's going to download, well, and basically everything that it needs, right, is going to download architecture, roughly enough items, cloth config. That might take a moment over here. So do stay patient, let this run through. And then once it is, then we can actually add the compatibility. And there we go, build successful in 51 seconds. So let's take a look. To make our custom recipe compatible, we're going to go into our tutorial mode package and make a new package called compat. And here we'll need three new Java classes. First is the growth chamber category class. Here we go. The second one is going to be the growth chamber display. And finally, we also want to create the tutorial mod REI client class. Here we go. We'll start with the category class and then work our way through, and then we'll see. Uh, so this is going to be the following. It will implement the display category class, or rather interface, of type basic display. You can see that those are both from REI API. So if those classes do not appear for you, that means that something has gone wrong with the importing of the REI API. So double check that again. We're gonna hover over this to implement the methods we need, and then we're gonna see. 
First things first, we're going to need an identifier. I will copy this one over and you'll see that this is um, something we've seen previously. That is literally just the growth chamber texture over here. Nothing complicated. And then we need a category identifier. So we're going to make a public static final category identifier of type growth chamber display. It's going to be the growth underscore chamber equal to category identifier dot of tutorial mod dot mod ID. And the name is going to be growth underscore chamber. This is totally fine. The reason why there is an error is because the growth chamber display class hasn't been implemented yet. So basically, you know, this, we're just going to get an error. We're, we're going to be fine with this. It's going to resolve in a second. We can then return the growth chamber in the get category identifier over here. That's totally fine. In the get title, we can simply do a text dot translatable and we're going to do block dot tutorial mod dot growth underscore chamber. There we go. And for the icon, we'll do entry stacks dot of mod blocks dot growth chamber dot as item dot get default stack. And then we need two other things. And that is the setup display method as well as the get display height. This is going to be the display height here is going to be 90. That just determines how much of the image over here, the texture will be shown. And then in the widgets, this is where we draw something basically. Right. And the drawing here is I will actually add this over here. This was done with the help of the Galactic Craft repository under the MIT license. Otherwise, I would have not figured out how this works because uh, sometimes these uh, the, you know, REI, JI, the, these APIs, they can be quite complicated to work with. Um, but, you know, regardless of that, that's fine. So what we're going to have is the following. I'm, uh, I'm actually going to we're going to write this out. So there's going to be a point. There's going to be the start point equal to a new point. And this is going to be bounce.getCenterX minus 80, 87 and then bounce get center y minus 35. So this is already basically calculated where everything goes. I then have a list of widgets over here. So list of widget, I'm going to call this widgets equal to a new linked list in this case. I don't know why there has to be a linked list, but we're just going to make it a linked list. That's fine. And then to this list, we're going to add a couple of widgets. The first one is widgets add and then we want to call the widget class. So the widgets class, sorry, there you go, widgets dot create textured widget, which is going to pass in the texture and then a new rectangle with the start point X, start point Y, and then 17582 for the height here in this case. And then we're going to have two widgets, which is going to be, well, you'll figure out what this is in just a moment. So widgets dot add, once again, then the widgets class dot create slot. And this is going to be a new point at start point X plus 54 and start point Y plus 34. After the second closing parenthesis, we're going to call dot entries display dot get input entries dot get zero. And then at the end here, we're going to do mark input. This is after the second closing parenthesis. Here we go. And what we can do is duplicate this and change this one to 104 where then we are using the get output entries and we're going to mark this as output. And there we have it. In the return, we will then simply return the widgets list and we have set up everything that we need to do. Basically, of course, these two slots over here will denote where the input and the output items go of our custom recipe. Obviously, if you have more, then you will need to, well, add more. I mean, I don't know what else, like that's, that's basically the whole idea in this case. And there you go. And that's actually this entire class done. We then go to the display, which looks a little bit crazy, but that's going to be fine. We'll extend the basic display here in this case. I'm going to hover over this to implement the get category identifier method. This is where we will simply do growth chamber category dot growth chamber. We're actually going to create this constructor manually. We're going to say public growth chamber display. And this is going to have a recipe entry of, of type growth chamber recipe. We're going to call this the recipe here in this case. And this is going to do the following. It's going to call the super. And the super looks like this. It is a list dot of entry ingredients dot of ingredient passing in recipe dot value dot get ingredients dot get zero. As this will get it, get it the actual ingredient that like our input basically. And the second one is a list dot of entry ingredients dot of, not an ingredient this time, but just of. And this time it's an entry stacks, entry stacks dot of recipe dot value dot get result 
passing in null. And there's probably something, something over here. Um, this is going to be entry stacks that of is correct. Yeah, and the difference here is that this is not entry ingredients, but entry ingredient. And then all of a sudden, if we import the correct class, no more errors found here. Listen, I'm telling you, the, working with REI is a little bit frustrating sometimes because the difference between of ingredient, of ingredients, entry stack, entry stacks, entry ingredient, entry ingredients is like one single uh, character. I definitely recommend you go to the description below, you find this, you get it to work once, and then you, you've definitely, if there's ever an issue or an error, very, very carefully read the actual name of the class. Don't just be like, oh yeah, th these are the same. No, th this is ingredients, this is ingredient. Yeah, I know it, it is what it is, but just to be sure, keep that in mind. Regardless though, regardless though, that's fine. And we move on to the tutorial mod client over here. This will implement the REI client plugin interface, and we are going to overwrite a couple of methods. The first one is the register categories method. The second one is the register displays method. And the last one is the register screens method. There we go. The categories looks kind of like this. We're going to say registry.add. We're going to add a new growth chamber category. Awesome. That's the first step. And the second one is registry.add workstations, where we're going to do growth chamber category dot growth chamber and then entry stacks entry stacks again entry stacks dot of mod blocks dot growth chamber awesome the second thing is the display the display is going to be registry dot register recipe filler passing in growth chamber recipe dot class passing in mod recipes dot growth chamber type and then growth chamber display colon colon new and finally the screen we're going to say registry that register click area. We're then going to say screen. You can see it basically suggests us the simple screen area. Exactly what we're going to do. Screen and then the little arrow to a new rectangle. And then here we're going to have a screen dot width minus one seven six divided by two. Don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna figure this out in just a second. Uh, does it not have width or is this just because? Okay, it's just because we haven't finished everything yet. In the rectangle. Then after the then this is plus seven eight. Then we're going to have the same thing, the same construct, screen, screen dot, screen dot height minus 166. I highly recommend you copy this over from the GitHub repository because <laughs> this is a little bit crazy. Plus 30, 20, comma, 25. And then after the last closing parenthesis, another comma where we pass in the growth chamber screen dot class and then growth chamber category dot growth chamber. Now there's probably a missing or a misplaced closing parenthesis somewhere. I assume. Yes, there is a one missing here. So we have, look at this, right? One missing open parenthesis. And all of a sudden, when we add it, everything works much better. So this basically just makes it so that you have a clickable area above the arrow of the growth chamber. And then that one will also display you the recipes basically the display well that just re like registers the actual display that we've defined over here that we obviously need for our category and then here we register the category and then here we register the workstation so that we can press u above the growth chamber block in this case and it will also show us our custom recipes now the last step super freaking important if you don't do this it's not going to work you have to go down to your fabric mod json file and under the entry points we want to add rei underscore client, and this is going to be the following. It is going to be net countdraw tutorial tutorial mod dot compat dot tutorial mod rei client. Note that this has to match whatever your structure is, right? So this is in your Java folder right here. Net, you can see I have net dot countdraw dot tutorial mod dot compat dot tutorial REI client. It has to match exactly, otherwise it's not going to work. And the name right here given has to match exactly the name of this class. If there's any typos there, double check. If it does not work, if you've done everything and it does not work, then double check that you've done this correctly because this might just be the fact that you've, you know, you've copied over something wrong or you've did a typo over here. Double check it. I can just basically tell you that. But with this, we have everything we're going to need. So let's jump into the game and see if it works. Oh, I found some back in Minecraft. And first of all, you can see REI has been successfully added to the game. And if I go in here, you can see, look at this, 
view recipes from Grove Chamber and we see all of the different recipes right here. If I go and say, how can I craft coal, right? I, I hover over this, press R. You can see the Grove Chamber appears here as well. How can I use a feather? I can use it with a Grove Chamber. How can I get in Garnet, Grove Chamber? So everything here works exactly like I, well, be put in right over the Grove Chamber. Hey, these are the Grove Chamber recipes. Absolutely freaking fantastic. And that is REI compatibility added to our Minecraft mod. Awesome. And that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, I don't quite know what we're going to do, but you can click on it right here. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.